little pictures come to life. We all have pictures running through our minds. Day and night, it doesn't matter. We all have something that we're thinking about. We often see them as what I call a mental picture. And when you can let your mental pictures, which is your imagination, we all have an imagination. Now, as children, we had a vivid imagination where everything we wanted, we could imagine playing cowboys and Indians, playing princess, playing school, playing business, playing house, you know, whatever it is. We had a big, vivid, vivid imagination. Well, you still have that imagination should you choose to use it. So are you using your imagination? So when you do and you can make those vivid imagination pictures come to life, isn't that what your imagination is for? You see it, you believe it, and you're waiting for it to happen. So what are you doing that's stopping it? What are you doing right now that is right in the way of just receiving everything you want? So take a look at how you're doing it. That's the first thing. Because when you can make those mental pictures, um, I'm just going to put this up here in the header for you. I mean the, the mental pictures of maybe you're wanting to do something. Maybe you're wanting a life a certain way. Well, you have a mental picture on that. And when you use your mental pictures to actually, ah, hold on. I am not spelling very good today. Pictures. I cannot spell picture today. <laughs> yes, hold on, guys. <laughs> Your mental pictures come to life. You want to bring them forward. You want to do this in a way that is going to be good and prosperous for you. You want to bring them to life, not just in your imagination. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to worry about how things are going to happen, how they're going to unfold, you know, or you don't have to come up with a scenario that's going to make it happen. All you have to do is use your imagination and see it and feel it. How does your imagination make you feel? So one thing I do, and this is really, really important, guys, is because you have to be in tune with yourself. You have to be in tune with who you are and what you want. You can't just go by fly of the night thing and say, okay, you know what, today I think I'm gonna act this way, today I think I'm gonna be that way. Well, who are you really? And what is your imagination telling you? So I like to do this at night when I go to bed. I find that I'm more in the receptive mode when I'm relaxed, my brain is relaxed. Now, sometimes you may notice when you go to bed at night, you have all these thoughts and there are these things that came through the day everything came through the day and you just constantly you're rewinding it and you're thinking why didn't I do that or that was wrong or you let those things go just let them go and use your imagination use your mental pictures and just I set an intention so as I'm going to sleep it sometimes takes me 30 45 minutes you know to go get into a good a good rhythm to go to sleep and this is normal and what I do is I go into a type of a meditation trance because I'll deep breathe and I'll relax and I'll think, okay, what are my intentions for my next step? What are my intentions for the next part of my life that I want to create? What are my intentions? And again, we're back to intentions because it's so important. So when I do and I'm visualizing, I'm thinking, okay, I really want to put this forward or I, maybe I'm working on like last night I did and I said well you know what I am going to do a video and I don't know what I'm going to do it on yet I'll wait until you know that inspiration comes to me I'm going to do a video this week and I'm going to make it so it helps people more I do a video several times a week to help and it it's designed every video is designed to help you to grow and prosper and to be able to grow your income and to grow your mindset and to use these skills and these tips on, in anything you're working on basically throughout your life. So that was my intention last night. I said, I'm gonna do this video. It's gonna help so many people. And I put, you know, hundreds of people and I just visualized and seeing it working and seeing it happening. I didn't see what I was going to say. 
I didn't see exactly what the video was going to be about. But I visualized it and I just, I was so happy it was coming together and I got it out there and I just seen it unfolding. I seen my day unfolding just in my imagination, which is where it all starts, right? Everything that we want to do, it starts in the imagination. And that's good because it's where our subconscious lives in our imagination. So I did this and I do this, you know, regularly as I'm doing my different things I want to do my intentions and, and different things I want to do that I want to create for my life. So in doing this, I learned a little tip about how I was doing it. As I was drifting off to sleep last night, and I was just envisioning this, seeing the mental pictures, you know, and I was just, and then jumped in my mind is other sessions that I'd had with myself about the different things I had envisioned and the different, you know, scenarios I had created. And it just made me think just that momentary thing going, oh my gosh, I made XYZ come to life. That's what I'm doing when I do this. When I do this, my imagination is actually giving life to my pictures, my mental pictures. So when I realized that this was what I was doing, I was giving life to my mental pictures and that I had that power and I've been doing this forever. I mean, forever. And I've taught a lot of people, you know, different ways to imagine and to see it and to feel it and to believe it but then I realized that this was so easy and so relaxing that so many things that I had mentioned visioned envisioned had my imagination and I had created those mental pictures in my head of what I was wearing you know what I was doing how good I was feeling just like right now, this video that I'm doing right now was what I was envisioning in my dream, in my dream state, in my sleep state, in my imagination state. It was right there and everything is unfolding and it started unfolding this morning with some other things that I knew in my imagination were going to come to play today. Well, they actually, they all came started unfolding this morning first thing one thing after another everything started unfolding and I was like oh my gosh I put these things into play I envisioned it happening I imagined it happening and not just that I imagined the outcome of what was happening and by doing that I seen everything come to fruition so everything that is happening for this video to the other elements that are unfolding today, they're all going to work out. It's already happened. It's already in the spirit. It's already there. My subconscious mind has already reached out and found the components it needed in the energy to come out and grab it all and bring it forward. So I know without a doubt that everything is coming to fruition for what I have imagined is going to happen. So do this simple step at night when you before you go to bed. Be relaxed. Lay in your bed when it's dark, even if you have to wear a nightshade to make it dark. And just relax, deep breathe, relax your mind, relax your body, and just let your imagination go. What is your intentions? I like to set an intention for what I'm going to do maybe the next day. Or maybe I'm working on an intention that's going to take longer, like weeks or months to, you know, come to fulfillment. Well, I can imagine different scenarios in that. And then my, no, my subconscious mind is going to pick the right ones for me. That's going to work out for me. It's just like praying. When you pray and you ask, then you're waiting. You have to do the same thing. You have to be patient because it's going to come in time when it's right, when it's ready. So do that and relax, see in detail what it is you want to do and feel how happy it makes you. Feel the 
results, feel the excitement, the exhilaration of creating what you're creating. Feel how great it makes you feel. And if it's something that you think, oh, well, this isn't going to work out. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go about this all wrong. That will happen too. So don't let that little tip that right there come into play for you. Don't allow that. Yeah, it's true. It works. And if you be focused on what it is you want and be playful about it, be happy about it. Your imagination is a great picture taker. I mean, it will give you, just imagine you're a pirate if you want to. You're sailing the seas, whatever it is. Use your kid brain. Use that fun. Use that carefree attitude. And you can bring forth anything in your life you want. Granted, you have to take the steps when they come to you because you're going to have to do the work. It's not just going to float out of the sky. Just like this video, I had to do the work to prepare for it. I had to do the work to get ready for it this morning. I had to do the work to set everything up. I had to do the work to decide what I was going to say. I had to do the work. And for the other things that are coming my way, I had to do the work. And if I don't do the work, I'm not going to get what I want. So think about it. You have to do the work. It's not just going to be, okay, I imagined this and now it's all just unfolding for me and just here. It doesn't work that way. You have to do the work. You have to take the steps. You have to use the course. You have to use the opportunity. You have to follow the steps that's going to take you to that level. Whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're working on. If you want to be a writer, you have to write the book. If you want to be in music, you have to write the song. You have to sing the song. You have to perform the song. You want to play the piano. You have to take lessons. You have to practice. You want to be a speaker. You have to practice. You have to practice speaking. You have to practice putting yourself out there. You have to practice talking in front of thousands of people. Whatever it is, you have to do the work. Start with the imagination. And you know what? It all comes together when you are in tune with what you want. You have the ability. You have the power. You are an amazing being in an amazing body in an amazing world. So... Definitely grow, prosper, and be all you can be. That's all there is to it. You have the ability. You are amazing.